Hey guys, it's Troy, welcome to another video. So today I wanna to talk about the notion of risk because listen, risk is absolutely central to everything that we do really, particularly in this domain, that is to say the domain of this channel and others like it. Now Robert Greene in his seminal book, The Art of Seduction, talks about various characteristics that go towards what he would regard as a charismatic character and one of those characteristics is the ability to take risks that is to say that the guy who is risk taking is going to be seen as more charismatic and as a result more attractive than the guy who doesn't take any risks now one of the big problems that we've got in society today as a whole is that we've become very risk averse i mean you only have to look at what's happened recently in response to COVID-19 to see that as a society we've become very frightened of things that are beyond our control and sometimes with good reason. It's not always a bad thing, right? We've got that fight or flight instinct within us. We've had it since primordial times and it's there to protect us. It's there for a reason. But at the same time, because society has become safer and safer over the years, over the centuries, we've been cocooned somewhat. And we're now in a position where if we have to do anything that's a little bit out of the ordinary, that's going to take us outside of our comfort zone, we are repelled by it and we, we can push back from it. We're scared to do it. Okay, And that has made us all very risk averse. Now, if you want a very boring and mediocre life, then maybe that doesn't matter too much, okay? Because just be risk averse, sit around at home, hide under the bed, don't do anything, and yeah, maybe you can get by, right? You know, maybe you can have your very safe job, or maybe you can claim some sort of welfare, or you know, whatever it is, whatever arrangements you have. But the, the more that you avoid engagement with the world, the safer that you feel on one level, but on another level, of course, you're allowing life to pass you by. You are not experiencing the full fruits of life as you could. And as a result, you're less charismatic and you're less attractive to other people. Because look, other people can feel your energy, okay? If you are somebody who goes out there and makes things happen, then people can just feel that. They can sense it when you walk into the room. There's that kind of <clears throat> about you. You know, there's that kind of like, there's that kind of vibe about you. When you walk into a room, you command attention. People notice, you speak loudly, you've got that kind of confidence about you because you're somebody who doesn't just accept life as it's been doled out to you, okay? You are somebody who says, no, I'm not gonna accept the status quo. I'm not just gonna accept this like bland, mediocre existence that I've been given. I am going to get the very best that I can out of this life, out of this world while I'm here and I'm not going to rest until I do so and I'm gonna use any means necessary to get there, okay? So look, I mean, you've gotta be able to take risks. And in terms of the dating marketplace, in terms of the sexual marketplace, you will be regarded as more attractive if you are a risk taker. I mean, think of the guys who are really attractive to women. Look at the, the classic Leonardo DiCaprio character in The Wolf of Wall Street, right? That guy is like kryptonite for women. Why is that? Well, listen, he's a, he's a risk taker, okay? He's somebody who goes out and does his own thing and doesn't accept life on life's terms. He goes out and makes things happen for himself, okay? How can that not be attractive, all right? If he was just a guy who said, do you know what, honey, I'm just gonna get a sensible job because the economy's looking a bit bad at the moment and I'm gonna play, you know, save up in my 401k and you know we're gonna live in a nice suburban house. I mean, yeah, there's some security there maybe, but it's not exciting and it's not attractive or arousing, okay? So you've gotta be prepared to take risks. Now, it can be difficult at first for sure because we all like to, we all like comfort, right? We all like to live in that comfort zone. We don't like to, to sort of not know what's gonna happen, not know where our next paycheck's coming from, etc., etc. but you've gotta break out of that, okay? So for me, what I found personally, and you know, I've really, managed to sort of break out of a comfort zone in the last sort of five, six years or so, right? What I found for me is that the best way to do it is to do it slowly. It's really, really tough just to break out of everything overnight, okay? You will probably fail. You'll probably find yourself retreating back 
into your comfort zone a little bit. And that happened to me, right? You know, I was going to move countries. I was supposed to have moved countries by now. And do you know what? I ended up coming back to London. Why was that? It was a little bit too much probably for, for me to, I bit off a little bit more than I could chew at that time, okay? Um, do I feel bad about it? Well, yeah, in a way, because, you know, really, we should be out there taking these risks. But I, I chose to, I, I did a lot of things at the same time. It was quite difficult. And so I, I scaled back a couple of those things, right? But as you go on, and as you take more and more risks in different areas of your life, and that can be in relationships, that can be in approaching you know, people that you find attractive, that can be social risks in terms of having conversations, that can be business risks, it can be giving up your job, all of these different things, and you're able to handle those things, then what you find is that the next time it's a lot easier, okay? So, you know, take it slowly. Don't expect to just be able to completely break out of everything overnight, painlessly. I mean, yeah, you know, maybe that you end up doing that and it works out for you, but it's better to do it sort of incrementally. Take it one step at a time. And then as you go on, the more risks you get used to taking, the more audacious you will become. And people can just notice it on you. It's incredible. You, there's almost like this chemical, physiological thing that's coming off you when you are somebody who takes risks, okay? Because most people don't. This is the thing. Most people don't take risks. Most people are scared to raise their heads above the parapet. Most people are following along with societal programming and they're not doing anything different. So become a risk taker. And if you are keen to become a risk taker, then recognize that taking it one step at a time, taking it incrementally is the way to go, or at least it will ease you into it so that you're then capable of or, or able to take those bigger risks as you get more confident in yourself and your abilities, okay? Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there. Renegade Dating Domination, which is my collection of articles and essays about dating and the dating marketplace. There's over 150 articles in that collection. Grab it now, the link is below. Also, please do subscribe to this channel because it really helps me to get more people on board uh, and to keep putting out this free content for you guys. The other thing to say is my private members area, my VIP private members area. Jump on board there, again, the link is below. It's rocking at the moment, we've got loads of guys in there. More guys coming in this week. It's building and building, and we're doing monthly and probably bi-monthly Zoom webinars. Really, really powerful stuff being shared. So if you're interested and you want to learn more, then check out the link below for that as well. Anyway, I'll leave it there for now. Bye-bye.